after going through it all and understanding how it worked, I was kind of like, oh, okay. I get it. I get you, Taylor. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren. If you're new here and I've been thinking about making this video for a while, I was just having some thoughts. So I told myself, I was like, I gotta make a video about this because I'd love to know your thoughts because I just keep seeing all these negative articles, surprise, surprise, someone has something negative to say about Taylor Swift. Don't care, I would love to talk about Taylor Swift's verified fan ticket program that she did with Ticketmaster. She came up with this idea with Ticketmaster before the pre-sale happened to kind of determine where people were in line and I just wanted to gather your thoughts on it so I thought I'd make you a quick little video. Make sure you're following me on social media, by the way. I always tweet about the newest celebrity happenings and Taylor Swift things and I love that Taylor Swift has been slowly but surely coming back to social media for us that Olivia, I think it was Olivia, might be Meredith, I don't know. She posted a picture of her cat doing that hilarious little stretch. Today she actually posted a cute little quick video with her and Ed. I even tweeted about it the other day about how much I miss Taylor Swift on social media. She just has the best captions so maybe she'll be back guys. Maybe she's slowly coming back to us. Oh, okay anyways let's get into it. So the 1989 world tour was amazing. It's actually my biggest regret in life that I didn't make it to the 1989 world tour because let's be honest here that was a legendary tour. Like that was her first full pop and it just ugh. I'm very heartbroken about it. I'm super jealous of everyone out there who went to the 1989 World Tour. If you did, comment down below. Tell me how amazing it was. I'm sure it was amazing. Anyways, the 1989 World Tour was Taylor Swift's most successful tour yet. It brought in more than $250 million and it was the top tour of 2015. However, something that rubbed Taylor Swift the wrong way was that $85 million of those sales went directly into scalpers' pockets. Scalpers consist of people or robots who buy tickets at their face value and then double and even triple and quadruple the prices when reselling them. Not cool. Don't be a scalper. Hundreds upon thousands of Taylor Swift's die-hard fans spent thousands of dollars to go see her and neither Taylor Swift nor her management and production team saw any of that money. Taylor Swift was not happy with that and she knew that she wanted to change the way that her next tour was about to go down. Behold, the Taylor Swift verified fan program with Ticketmaster. She partnered with Ticketmaster and came up with a strategy to cut scalpers out of the equation. As many of you all know, I'm sure, the Verified Fan Program utilizes technology to determine actual fans and determines which of those fans should have early access to the presale. This was based on fans' willingness to participate in getting boosts by doing things like watching her music videos, signing up for her newsletter, posting on social media, and of course, purchasing the Reputation album along with her Reputation Tour merch. As a lot of you saw, I'd love to know your thoughts on this and if you do agree with me because I was pretty sure that this actually happened. The pre-sale tickets were pretty low in price considering the level of mega superstar that Taylor is. After the pre-sale, Taylor Swift and her team raised the cost of all tickets in the general sale to make them less attractive to those scalpers out there trying to make a quick buck. So I'm sure you've been seeing all the articles about how, oh my god, Reputation Tour is gonna be Taylor Swift's worst tour yet because she hasn't sold out a single show. Now, back up, that's absolutely not the case. People are saying this because almost every single one of Taylor Swift's past shows has been sold out in minutes. I mean, the New York Post dubbed it a disaster, which is so ridiculous to me. They're just writing headlines like that to get clicks and views. Just saying. Now, most major tours for any huge celebrity does sell out in minutes. And as of today, February 7th, none of them have sold out yet. However, Ticketmaster believes that Taylor Swift will be getting the last laugh. Even Billboard wrote an article titled, Despite Negative Press, Taylor Swift's Reputation Tour could be one of the biggest of all time. Yeah, I'm so excited! In this article, it says that ticket sales could reach half a billion dollars at a slower and steadier pace. They're estimating that this tour could reach around $450 million on ticket sales alone. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> the reason most tours sell out right away is because prices are so low that scalpers and bots come in and purchase as many tickets as they can. They believe that her tour will start to sell out closer to when it begins on May 8th in Glendale, Arizona. The whole point of the verified ticket program is to use artificial intelligence to find actual people who are dying to go to the shows rather than bots and scalpers. Another thing that I thought was really great about the verified ticket program and the whole purchasing process was that because of the different tiers and different 
time slots that everybody had. People could take their time selecting their seat and their section, figuring out exactly where they want to be, as opposed to once you leave the waiting room, you just click and find a seat as fast as you can because you don't want it to be taken. I did appreciate that. Now, this isn't the first time that this kind of program has ever been used by Ticketmaster. They actually used the Verified Fan program for U2 concerts and even Hamilton. But Taylor was the only one to try something new with the introduction of fan-based boosts. That's hard to say. Say that three times fast. Some critics are calling her greedy for giving the best time slots to the people who spend the most money. But to that claim, Ticketmaster came out and said that most of the fans who participated in the pre-sale spent zero dollars before purchasing a ticket. Obviously, if you had the money to buy three albums and two snake rings, you would get a better time slot. But even those who didn't spend money on merchandise and couldn't afford to do that still had the opportunity to participate by doing the free things like signing up for her newsletter and watching behind the scenes clips of her music videos. Which is something that true Swifties want to do anyways, that I might add. That's in my mind is why that's smart. I mean, that seems pretty reasonable to me to pay between 50 to $250 as opposed to $2,000 to $4,000. I actually remember the 1989 World Tour seeing some tickets go for $4,000, which is, that's insane. So this is all just a very super interesting business model and it's a way for Taylor Swift to take control of her tour. She wants to ensure that her and her hardworking team are benefiting from the profits, not scalpers. $85 million is a lot of money to lose to scalpers and robots. That $85 million could have gone to Taylor Swift and her team. And that's money that Taylor Swift could put towards a fan event, like flying people from around the country and around the world to participate in her secret session listening sessions and other fan events that we all know that Taylor Swift loves to do. And I personally would much rather have my money go to the artist than anyone else. But I will say that when it first came out and I got that email about this whole ticket program, I was confused and I think I was a little unhappy with the things that I was seeing initially. I was like, what is this? I can't be purchasing eight albums and millions of snake rings. Thanks, Kevin. But because of the way the program showed your place in line, it's obvious that buying merchandise wasn't the only way to get access to the presale. I am like super excited to go to the concert on May 19th. I'm so excited. I'm going alone, but I don't even care. I'm gonna make friends with whoever's next to me. Get ready. Saturday, May 19th in LA. Please comment down below if you're going. Maybe I'll meet some of you. That would be really cool. But yeah, I would love to know what your thoughts are on the whole verified ticket program. Because my initial thoughts absolutely changed once I started going through the process of it. Initially, I wasn't so down, honestly. I was like, what's going on? But after going through it all and understanding how it worked, I was kind of like, oh, okay. I get it. I get you, Taylor. So I'm calling out to all of my Swifties out there. What did you think of the Verified Ticket program? Did you participate by buying merchandise? Did you purchase multiple albums? Or did you just do all the free things like me? <laughs> I tried to do as much as I could. I obviously bought one album and that gave me a great boost. And I even found the UPS truck and posted that on my Twitter. And I got really great seats at an affordable price and I'm really excited about that. I think I was just in her like second or the third best tier just by doing those boosts. I got about a hundred boosts, I think. And I was really happy with that. Please comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. I always love throwing it back to you guys and finding out what you guys thought about the whole program. So make sure you comment. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave it a like and subscribe to my channel if you're not. Join the lip fam and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren. Whoop, boobs, boobs. She lost all the words. And I hope that if you went to the 1981 how fast can I speak? The 1980 world, 1980? <laughs> she partnered with, the lighting is changing. The verified fan program, plain, so loud. Fly, fly away. The verified, <laughs> uh, okay, hold up, back it up. Back it up, back it up. The reason most so sores, the reason most sores, ew, tell out. Some credits are, Crickets? Crickets? Some crit. <laughs> Some crits. <laughs> I said it again. I can't speak today. Ooh.